Hey guys, so welcome to episode 79 of Relentless Talk Radio. This is the Food for Thought, the Relentless Food for Thought segment, segment one. And today I'm talking about five reasons why it's important to keep on dreaming on. Boy, we are living in some crazy times, aren't we? Um, today, I really can't, I've been really racking my brain today about, let me get rid of some of these crazy windows I got popping up, about what I need to say about this topic because the reason why I chose the dream on topic is that today I was supposed to be talking with Tom Hatton from Mountainside Fitness and we decided to postpone given yesterday's uh, announcement um, that the gyms would be closing here in Arizona and then last night I listened to Tom step up and speak on his own behalf and behalf of his employees um, and the members of Mountainside about the actions that he's choosing to take in relation to having five hours notice from the governor of Arizona closed down. And, you know, the topic, um, the topic Dream On was chosen because that's the name of Tom's book. And we'll have him on another day when he's under less stress. Uh, let's cross our fingers for him. And so I'm very careful about talking about political topics on Relentless Talk Radio on my personal profile because I don't really, my political views really aren't important. Um, you know, I remember when I was first coming up and I was in charge of running a, a group and there was a controversy and everyone wanted to know my opinion. And I said, well, it's really not my job to tell you what my opinion because I'm leading. And as a leader, it's my job to kind of give you the, the parameters in which you guys can make a decision around. And that was a really powerful experience for me. Um, really thought about weighing in on how I feel about this gym thing. I have strong feelings in both directions. Um, my feelings are kind of like not important. I think when I think about dreams and what, it, what they mean to me, my job as a leader is to encourage people to personally develop. And I really think that Personal development is a very personal thing, thus the title personal development. And it has really very little to do with external circumstances. It's an inside job, you know? So I talk about how people are, you know, I try to lift up and encourage people in the skin they're in to be their best self. And in doing so, discover what's best for them. And so it's really not my job to have any opinions about politics one way or the other. And some people really want me to voice my opinion. And I think the older I get, it's not that I don't have opinions. It's just that I have room for other people's opinions. So my opinions become less strong because I know that everyone has their own way of looking at things. And what's most important to me is that people take the situations that we're living in, the times we're living in, and try to make the most and the best out of whatever situation we're in. Um, the gym thing is really tough because I really do believe that gyms are essential. However, I also understand how gyms are problematic during this crazy COVID time. So I think that I'm just going to stick to the topic today. And the topic today is five reasons why it's so important to keep on dreaming on. So the first reason, it's kind of kind of ties in with what, what I just said is when you have a dream, it keeps you focused, you know, and in being focused, you're very resilient. And as I was watching Tom Hatton yesterday in his press conference, I thought, here's a man who has a very clear idea of what his dreams are, and he's staying very focused to that dream. Now you can agree or disagree with his choices. Um, that's okay. But the reason why he's able to take strong action is because he has a very focused dream about what he wants to do for himself, for his business, for his employees, for the, for the public at large. And so as a result, he's, he can stay focused on his direction. Whatever your dream is, if you have a dream, then when you, the whirling dervishes and the squirrels of the word come your, come your way, you can make a decision to stay focused on your dream. So have the first reason to have a dream is to be able to stay focused. If not, we're just all over the place. The second reason is to stay positive and excited. You know, when we have a dream, it's what makes us get our feet on the floor, you know? Um, it, it makes you, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you're tired and you're grumpy and things aren't going your way, it's what makes you get your feet on the floor. 
because you're excited about what's going to happen today because you have a dream and you have a mission to make it come through, right? So having a dream keeps you excited and positive about the world. And so when you haven't got a dream, it can be problematic because when you have those down days, it's really hard to get back up when you haven't got something that's pushing you. I love it when you hear Matthew McConaughey speak or he talks about how he's always chasing something. And I really resonate with that. I'm always chasing something. And just when I catch what I'm looking for, I look for something new because I want to have a reason to get up and move forward every day, you know? So the third reason is it keeps you hungry, okay? It motivates you. So if you got something that's keeping you focused and you're excited about it, then you're hungry. You know, you get excited about what's happening and you're hungry to move forward. When you're hungry, I mean, think about when you're super hungry for food. You're like, you are you know, when you go to, when you sit down for that meal, you eat it fast. You're like, you know, you can't wait to eat because you're starving. When you have a dream, you're hungry. And being hungry is probably one of the things that, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry, you know. I'm, I'm hungry for my dreams. I want those things to come true because figuratively and literally, I'm hungry, you know. The fourth thing is that when you have a dream, it keeps you growing and it keeps you progressing. You know, it keeps you, you know, because you're focused and you're developing re resiliency because you keep on moving forward no matter what, that keeps you growing. And when you grow and you develop as a person, that makes life richer and more meaningful and just more, more, right? So having a dream keeps you focused. It keeps you excited. It keeps you hungry and it keeps you growing. And then the fifth thing, which I think super important having a dream keeps you interesting you know I if you have a, something that's driving you that you're excited about and you're just kind of ho-humming it through the day what is there to talk about you know what is there to talk about when you're not pushing towards something and even if you're in retirement you're kind of like on the down low now you can have different kinds of dreams, okay? I have friends that just bought boats and they're just loving it, you know? They're just loving being on the boat, getting out in the boat, being with the people on the boat, cooking steaks on the boat, you know, just everything's about the boat, you know? And uh, and that keeps you looking up stuff and learning about fish and it gets you excited about, you know, what's going to happen this weekend and, you know, it's an important it's an important thing to be interesting and ex you know because that makes you dynamic. And when you're dynamic and interesting, it gives you a value. Your friendships are, are deeper. You know, I mean, you ever, you ever gone out to dinner with a friend and they have nothing going on and you're like, so what are you going on? They're like, nothing. You, what happens after that? You know, I got nothing going on. This is it. You know, having dreams keeps you motivated. You know, dreams don't have to be around money. They can be around, I don't know. Just about anything. You have dogs. You've got you know a house that you're renovating. I mean, it, the dreams don't have to be about money and about about success as far as a monetary thing. Dreams can be about how you're upgrading your motorcycle, or you're putting together your home, or you know you, maybe you're going on a vacation. Or, you know, there's there's things that you're doing that are that you're dreaming about. You know, especially when we get later in life, um, our dreams shift and change and evolve. You know, they they become more about the quality of life and what we're doing with our life than it comes about building something, right? So those are the five reasons why you should keep on dreaming. You should um, stay, to stay focused is number one. To be excited is number two. To be hungry is number three. To keep growing and progressing is number four. And number five is to be interesting and dynamic. So on the fourth Tuesday of the month, um, I am looking at my time here. I, I feature a fabric fashion designer. And so this week I'm featuring um, Lauren Aragon. And I'm super excited about him because um, he's one of the um, designers, and I'm moving my notes here, one of the designers that's part of the Fabric Residency Program. And those of you who watch me know that Scotty Yang, or AKA Scotty Warren, um, is also a designer. He's um, His brand is Heights Apparel. Um, he's a really cool guy, and he's doing the video lab with me on Thursday. So he's a videographer and a fashion designer. And I'm really excited to hear what Lauren has to say about his designs and also about what's going on in Fabric right now. Um, Fabric is an organization that is um, in Tempe, and what they're doing is it's a manufacturing, a small plant manufacturing firm for designers here in Arizona to produce small lines of fashion wear. 
right? Um, and right now they're doing a lot of stuff for COVID. They're making masks. They're doing a lot of things for COVID, which is really important. Angela Johnson and Sherry Berry will be on in a couple um, weeks. We'll be talking more about the work they're doing at Fabric and how they're responding to COVID. So the gym thing, peeps. If you want to work out, I'm going to be doing a daily workout at the Relentless Talk Radio Health and Fitness page. So if you're not um, already following that page, please ask to join group. Sorry. Um, so you can go to the, the group. And um, oh, and here's Lauren. He's saying he's excited to be part of this discussion. So thanks a lot, Lauren, for being in the waiting room. I'm going to come get you in a couple minutes. But if you um, want to get a new um, workout in every day, I'm going to be working out. And I'm going to just actually have you be part of my workout. Okay, so I work out every day at um, five o'clock. So I'm gonna actually move that up to four. You know what, I'm just gonna keep it at five. There, there you go, I just made a decision. So every day at five o'clock, um, you can tune in and do a little half an hour workout with me. Okay, so it's called the Relentless 30, and I'll be focusing on a lot on legs, okay, because I'm doing a competition next year and my legs have got to catch up, okay? I've had a double hamstring chair. Uh, tear and it's been slowing me down. So if you are not able to go to the gym, um, there are a couple gyms that are choosing to stay open, but if your gym didn't and you would like to get a free workout in, go to Relentless Talk Radio's Health and Fitness Group and sign up and I'll do a um, free workout every day for 30 minutes at 5 o'clock. Um, either live or recorded, depending upon how my day rolls out, but there'll always be something there at 5 o'clock-ish. You know me, I could be a couple minutes late. So, all right, guys, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to go over and get Lauren, and we're going to talk about um, why it's so important for him to dream on. But also, interestingly enough, his brand is a lot about strong women, and we had a, quite a cool conversation yesterday um, when we were doing our Be Live uh, test. Be Live is the application I use for Real Let's Talk Radio about why he thinks strong women are so important. And to all of you businesses out there that have been shut down due to COVID, I'm going to tell you what I told Tom Hatton. Every time I drive by a mountainside fitness, my stomach flips over. It does. It's super hard for business owners that have not been able to stay open during COVID. It's not just about greed, people. It's about the 1,500 employees that Tom Hatton employs. And it's about the 100,000 members that he has, and many of which need a workout because it's their primary form of mental health care, okay? Okay. I believe that gyms are essential businesses. I'm hoping that there's a way we can find to continue to keep people safe and keep the gyms open for two reasons. One, I really believe, and here I am, I'm having an opinion, I can't help it. I really believe that working out with people and that energy is really important. That being said, I get that right now we're in tough times and we need to look at that differently. And I don't know what the answer is to that. But I do know that there's some people like Tom Hatton who have spent his entire adult life. He started Mountainside Fitness at 22 when he had two grand in his pocket. Okay. And he started, he's not just like some rich guy who has got money to throw away. You know, I mean, this is, this is a lifetime work that he's dealing with. And, and because of, you know, he's not getting help from the government because the businesses that have more than 500 employees don't get help. So there's got to be a way that we can stay safe and keep our businesses open. People have spent their entire life working to build something for themselves in the future and their employees. And the reason why I focus on entrepreneurs is that entrepreneurism is the backbone of our country. And we've got to find a way to keep each other safe and keep our doors open. So I, I don't know what the answer is to that, but I do know that there's going to be life after COVID and I'd like as many businesses as possible to remain open um, during this time. So um, if you are a business that's being affected by COVID, my heart goes out to you. Please make sure that you're sleeping and eating and taking good care of yourself and laughing as much as possible. It's so stressful. I remember when I had my salon back east and having a brick and mortar and employees is just so, so stressful. And it takes a very special person to make a decision to employ 1,500 people. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a huge commitment. So my heart goes out to Tom Hatton, to EOS, to all the gyms out there that I can't think of off the top of my head, the smaller ones in particular, just be yoga, um, all of them that are having such a hard time keeping their doors open. So that's my story today, people. I'm going to go get Lauren and hopefully bring this conversation up. So dream on, everybody. Dream on.